Hello everyone and welcome back to Playstech and in today's video we're going to be talking about what is better either a gaming laptop as I've been using the Asus G15 Sephiroth for about two to three months now and before that I was using a desktop gaming computer which I built myself and that, was, that thing was a beast but there's also complications with having a desktop as well as a gaming laptop and I'm going to be addressing those issues within this video today. So first of all I want to talk about the pros of a gaming PC and later on I'll be talking about the pros of a gaming laptop and the cons of a gaming PC as well as the cons of a gaming laptop. So I'm going to be splitting up into chapters and what I'm going to be doing is if you want to go to that chapter then totally cool. If you want to watch the full video that's totally cool as well. So first of all the pros of having a gaming desktop PC is that one it's pretty much built like a tank and two depending on how you spec it out you can pretty much run any game at maximum the high settings on 1080p as well as you can do 1440p and 4k as well as the benefits of if you make upgrades and let's say down the future you want to either switch to AMD from Intel or Intel from AMD or you want to upgrade something like your RAM to get more RAM or you want a higher clock speed RAM or you want a new NVIDIA let's say 3080 for example or by the time you watch this video maybe the 4000 series might be out and you might want to upgrade to that so the flexibility of having a gaming pc is definitely out there because you can pretty much do whatever you want as well as you can do other things such as have cool keyboards cool mouses cool monitors all these different accessories like dongles or like elgato game captures or anything like that pretty much anything you can think about can go on a computer pretty much can go on a desktop PC providing that you have a lot of ports available to you and that's also my next thing. Compared to a gaming laptop, a gaming laptop maybe has about three USB ports and maybe one or two USB-C ports as well as a power adapter. So for some people that's plenty. For me personally with all my accessories, so there's a microphone, a Logitech C920 camera and a couple of other things that I use at the same time. For me two to three USB ports as well as one or two USB C's, it's totally not enough because on my desktop PC I had I believe up to eight USB 3.0's and I literally used every single one of them and I had to get a dongle actually that was a standard USB to a three way USB adapter and I pretty much maxed that out as well. So USB slots are definitely upgradable and, and definitely more available than a gaming laptop. But then the negatives also come into getting a gaming PC. So even though gaming PCs are amazing and I stand by them above everything else, pretty much you can't really take it around with you, especially if you're moving to another state or another country because you pretty much got to build it all yourself unless you want to risk the chance of things maybe being broken while shipping or something breaking during shipping like that and pretty much you don't want that because the smallest thing that can go wrong it might happen then your entire PC might be totally dead and if you spend $5,000 on a gaming PC then you definitely don't want that to happen. And portability besides just moving it to another state or another country even if you want to change it to another room you gotta like take all the USBs out unplug the whole machine then move everything then after that you also got to move your monitor as well as your mouse and keyboard and moving all of that to another room is a pain let alone moving to another state so portability is definitely a no-go now moving on to a gaming laptop what are the pros about it and next chapter will be one of the cons righty so today's a new day but continuing on with the video so the purpose of a gaming laptop is that one it's portable as everyone knows two it can be fairly powerful and those are the two biggest biggest pros of a gaming laptop so you can pretty much game if you want as well as if you want to move then it's very easy to pick up and move because you can just and and go unlike a gaming pc where you have to unplug all this sort of stuff then it's a bit of a pain but a gaming laptop super simple you can either put it in your suitcase or put it in your bag and you can do all your other tasks like gaming study work or any other form of work related stuff you can do like content creation like I am doing right now such as editing, photoshop, anything like that. Another perk of a gaming laptop that some laptops do have if you have a dedicated button such as this one here you will get a menu that looks like this and for now we'll just say cancel 
and sometimes at the bottom depending on your laptop you might have windows mode silent mode performance mode turbo mode or manual mode right now i have it on silent mode one of the biggest cons of a gaming laptop are that because it's more of a compact form factor instead of a actual pc where a graphics card might be this big a where a gaming pc let's say for example a gtx 3080 it's about this big and about this long let's say but if you put it in a gaming laptop it might be this big and this long so it's more compact and that causes a couple of problems so for one the actual performance of a 3080 on a gaming laptop compared to a 3080 on in a gaming pc there's a massive difference of about 20 to 30 percent last time i researched so let's say for example on a gaming pc and you're running a 3080 and let's say you're getting 100 fps on whatever game but if you do the exact same game on a gaming laptop and you also have a 3080 then instead of getting 100 fps you might be getting 80 fps now that's a performance dip because of the compact formability of a gaming laptop so you have to keep that in mind when you're playing games the also biggest drawback of a gaming laptop is that it definitely gets hot and this can be from any range or any brand of gaming laptops from razer to asus to hp to alienware any of them even though different ones have different venting capabilities all of them actually get pretty hot like my asus g15 right here if i'm playing games the gpu gets up to about 80 85 degrees which is not good for a graphics card however 85 is is getting too dangerous territory however when it gets to 90 that's very very bad because the lifespan of a gaming laptop will definitely shrink because the cpu as well as the gpu is definitely overheating but when a gaming pc is doing the exact same task because of the either water cooling or more fan cooling whether that be bigger fans or more fans or anything like that and also it depends on the case that you buy as well for me i had a fractal design r5 and i totally recommend it it's super good so just to show you what i mean currently i'm playing a game of zombies and as you can see the gpu is running about 84 percent and if you can hear it the fans actually being pretty loud so that's pretty much what they sound like if you're playing games so I recommend anything like noise cancelling headphones or anything like that. But besides the drawbacks of actually doing games on a gaming PC, other than that when it comes to other tedious tasks like documenting, website design, Photoshop, video editing, the temperature and the noise of a actual gaming laptop is actually pretty normal. So therefore it's not too loud, it's not too hot, it's pretty much solid and fine. So those are the main points between a gaming laptop and a gaming PC, the pros and cons of both. If you did like today's video, remember also like the video as well as subscribe to the channel and check out another video over here. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I will address them as soon as I can. Other than that, I will see you guys later.